going into it, I wasn't really sure what I expected going into the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award. But coming out of it, it is one of the biggest accomplishments that I've ever done in my life. The end of this is not about me, it's about a wider community. The point of the programme is to, to give young people a chance. It will change your perception on how you can deal with matters in the future. If you see what it's like for other people, what their lives are like, then it helps you to understand why why the world is the way it is. It's just a mental mental growth, a physical growth uh, in every way and that brings me joy. Because not everybody has the same problems as you. Not everybody has the same challenges. I don't think I would be where I am without the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award. It will absolutely benefit you in every way possible. The Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award is a, is a programme for six year students that has two aims, one uh, community cohesiveness and the other personal development um, through adventure in the outdoors for young people. It was something very special to me. I got involved because I wanted to make new friendships um, and give back to the community. This involves a five day residential programme along with a community project that you do when you come back from the residential programme. I thought that our bound experience was going to be good. I didn't think it would be as good as it was. So we did a residential for five days where we learned new skills, learning how to think outside the box. It involves a lot of outdoor activities and leadership activities. I just thought uh, it would be about just creating uh, skills, but it gave me much more than it. <laughs> I'm not very used to carrying a massive bag, but looking back at it now, I'm like, oh yeah, that was fantastic. I know for sure I wasn't used to walking up hills and camping outside in the middle of the night and, you know, drinking water that wasn't fresh out of a tap, essentially. <laughs> and it did really challenge us. Didn't come from the most privileged upbringing. And, um, you know, I always heard about kids going away on holiday and all this jazz, and I never really got that. I didn't realise how much I loved outdoor activities until I did that, to be honest. I've got uh, exposure to nature and it was really good for mental health. Initially, what I first got out of it was a sense of sort of self-actualization. Like, I didn't realise I could do the things that I did at all. We had a sense of accomplishment as a group. We had all worked together and achieved the same goal. And that goal was something that we didn't think we would be able to accomplish because it was so far out of all of our comfort zones. And by the end of the well, five days of residence, I was so sad to leave because all the good memories we had there. And But I was again glad to start a community project, which I'll know that will impact not just myself, but my community and people around me. So obviously the hill walk part of it is kind of just an umbrella. The underlying skills that we could use where the teamwork. So I ha it has kind of showed me that it is something I really actually love doing is carrying out projects for the community that are, you know, helping in some kind of social aspect. The community project uh, is an idea to give back to your community in a sense that uh, doing little but in, in a big impact. In Edinburgh, there is, now there's a lot of soup kitchens but 10 years ago, there was only a handful of them and um, a lot of the people that went to them knew the schedule of when they would open and they would hop from soup kitchen to soup kitchen. So um, I found a, a gap in the slot, in their slots and I, and I filled that for them. After the residential, we had done a community project where we helped women and children who had suffered from domestic violence to create a safe space for them. And it's such an accomplishment to know that I as just a high school student, had that impact in my community. It was a project that brought quite a lot of us together as well. And when I say a lot of us, I don't just mean the people in the group, I mean people within the wider community as well. We set up um, three days with three different primary schools and we went and presented a presentation about the health aspect and the mental health. I started volunteering at the British Heart Foundation, so in that aspect of I want to do more for the community, has definitely grown in me that I want to do more. Everything helps. No matter how small, you're still making an impact. You're still doing something good. 
pushing yourself at lots of different stages in your life um, out with your comfort zone really makes you stop and think about yourself, think about what you value, what, what you still can learn in, in life. They get a great sense of satisfaction. I don't think you can buy that. Just that I've started something and look the impact of my activities. Mark's God Leadership for Life Award has really encouraged me to um, give back and spend time for the community. Since then I've done a bunch of projects just because I've realised that the resources don't really matter. You can find the resources and often low resource processes are where a lot of change happens. You know, from Mark Scott leading me into the outdoors, that's been a huge stepping stone for me getting here because it's given me leadership skills, it's given me a massive amount of problem solving skills. Communication and teamwork are key skills in life and that is something that the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award has taught me. Project management, understanding other people, being able to communicate better from a younger age, I think these are really important life skills. Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award was one of the main things that I've talked about during my interviews and my CVs. I don't think I would be where I am without the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award. It has definitely benefited my life. It was about showing how you can empower yourself with a small group of people and create a huge impact.